Welcome to RV and Travel Adventures. My name is Jesus Manuel Mena Garza. In this edition, we check out the latest 2024 Geminis and uh, compasses by the folks at Thor. They come in four different uh, exterior iterations and, of course, three different floor plans. And, of course, you can mix and match what you want on flooring and how the cabinets look. Here's some very nice features for the Ford chassis. I just want to emphasize the first three, all-wheel drive, a 3.5 liter V6 EcoBoost that goes super fast, and 310 horsepower and 400 foot-pounds of torque. Again, you can pause this video at any time to check out these features for the TE, the T-Dub, and the KB. Uh, the big difference is the T-Dub has the largest tanks, and the KB has the very large storage, exterior storage. It's fantastic. Let's take a quick trip around the uh, exterior of the unit. It was over 100 degrees, of course, in uh, the Fort Worth area. There's a water heater, the various uh, connections for electricity, antennas, you know, 30 amp, etc. And also side access to that extensive amount of storage this unit has. This is a big one. Uh, this is the one with the largest storage capacity. Right next to it is a compass, and a compass and the Geminis are essentially, you know, identical units. They just have different names. Let me open up the storage. You can access it uh, from the back, from both sides. It's a tremendous amount of storage. I think it's over 40 feet, 40 cubic feet, quite a bit. Nice hinges too, I like those hinges. So you can access it from way over there to way over there and you have a little tub down there. And you can put some ice in it and make it a cooler if you wish. Again, an absolutely fabulous unit if you're interested in getting some uh, storage, exterior storage. Great spot for a bike rack back there or you can tow something. It's up to you. Uh, I would uh, contact your uh, Thor dealership to make sure what you can tow is acceptable. Here's a view of the side. Of course, they have the um, frameless windows. And of course, this is a Transit 350 HD. EcoBoost, all-wheel drive, cutaway chassis, and uh, you can zip down the road rather readily and pass those folks that are chugging along in their <laughs> travel trailers. Okay, you're probably passing me, by the way. I I'm in a travel trailer. <laughs> I wish I could only have this. Here's a view of some of the units. They have quite a few, and again, they have acres upon acres upon acres at this dealership. And uh, again, quite the new interior for the Ford Transit. Plenty of areas for cups, beautiful seats, areas to uh, put odds and ends. Very comfortable. And this chair, of course, rotates around if you need it to access, uh, you know, and check out what's going on behind you. Not during transit, of course. <laughs> nice large screen. And a 10-speed transmission, wow, I really am impressed by that. A lot of the usual controls, and again, Ford EcoBoost 3.5 Turbo. Some storage space up here, just odds and ends you can put up there. Something not too heavy, because you don't want it hitting your head if it finds its way uh, loose there. And of course, they have this uh, window up front. It's covered and operates at a flip of a switch. On this side, you have uh, some of your uh, shutoff switches for the 12 volt and some other controls, some alternating current, and uh, a little table, an accessory table that plops up. On this side, uh, you have the uh, sofa, the 
sofa that you can turn into a little bed, a little bed, not a big bed. And you have some storage up here. Later in this video, I'm going to show you the different cabinetry and uh, the slide out on another unit. Okay. So these are the wooden old school cabinets, nice struts, and they have a 12 volt connection over there. So you can connect something if you want to charge it up there. So what do you think of the valances and also the uh, blinds? I really like these blinds. They just go up and they go down. They're not those uh, accordion style. I do not like those. So they have an area there in case you have the appropriate phone to charge your phone. What do you think so far? Again, that's where you can turn off uh, your 12 volt batteries. Over here, they have an intelligent system to control your lights, etc. I could turn on the lights. I tried to turn on the uh, air conditioner because it was like about 130 degrees. It said on the units. It was 130 degrees inside this unit because the air conditioning was on, but it wasn't plugged in. It's a, so it's smart enough to know that you do not have enough juice because you're only using batteries to power the air conditioner. It says, no, you want to use the air conditioner, but you can't because we're not plugged in. Sorry, Charlie. Or sorry, Jesus. So it's, uh, I wanted to get to 70, but it didn't allow me to. I tried, uh, and I tried. So there's the battery uh, Go Power uh, charge controller. And I'm waiting and waiting, but it didn't come, didn't come to fruition. <laughs> That's the TV. It's an Insignia TV, a nice TV. You can see my reflection. I have my head on. And those are the standard cabinets, not the fancy you know, Italian style, shiny cabinets. A two burner cooktop, propane of course, and then you have a sink right there. You have a row of three small uh, drawers and a tall area to the left and one to the right. Nice stainless steel. Of course, there's different qualities of stainless steel. This is a good entry level stainless steel sink. These are plop out uh, windows. And again, a nice shot of some of the exterior elements, the lights, the switches, etc., etc. This is definitely an upgrade uh, for many RVers is to have two shelves, not just one, two shelves. And of course, you can adjust them to your heart's content. Don't forget to become a patron of my uh, patron of my channel by going to patreon.com slash jmmgarza. Muchas gracias. Again, a two burner stove. This is, of course, propane. Very efficient. And of course, uh, when you put down the uh, cover, it extends the countertop. And there's a convection microwave by the folks at Contour. Excellent, excellent choice. If you can't have an oven, it's very nice to have a convection microwave oven. That's where you have your garbage can. They gave you a little garbage can. I will get one with a cover on it so it doesn't, the smells don't escape. It's only a, my recommendation. Plywood boxed, all metal ball bearing glides, solid wood door fronts. Very nice. I like it quite a bit. In a previous video, I was a, one person called me a fanboy of this unit. In the previous version of this unit, and I am a fanboy. If I could get this, uh, I would, but my budget does not allow it. My wife has plans for my money, and we might be moving to Los Angeles, or we might be moving to uh, Northern California, we might be moving to Oregon very soon. So she wants to buy a big house. Plywood box again, very nice, and right next to it is a heater, and this is a two uh, door refrigerator. Says there, risk of fire, explosion, flammable refrigerant used. Do not use mechanical devices to defrost refrigerator. Do not puncture refrigerant tubing. So you've been forewarned. Nice shelves. I asked my dealership uh, down the road. I broke one of my shelves if I could get a spare to replace. And he said, uh, we don't have them. <laughs> that was a Rockwood Mini Light. So hopefully they have parts for this one at this dealership or any of the dealerships. They have parts for the stuff. Hey, stuff breaks because in RVs things break. It's what you sign up for. Things do break here and there. So if you have time, you can pause this video to look at some of the stuff on this sheet here. Thermotor Coach Incorporated. I just want to. 
I don't know if I can even read that. Maybe you can zoom in. Maybe you got better eyes than I do. Let me show you right here. It's a uh, shows the price about 170 grand. Of course, they give a substantial dealership discount at a lot of the local dealerships in the Fort Worth area. If you want to check out the Thor dealership in uh, Fort Worth, I think it's a motorhome specialist. You can go down there. I'm pretty sure they'll be more than happy to give you a couple dollars off. They're very generous folks down there. They have a tremendous inventory. They have amazing inventory. I like going down there just to look at stuff. Not even shoot videos. I just go down there to look at stuff. Nice little drawer in between this uh, model. This model has a twin bed that converts into a king bed. And of course, I'm going to have the cups on this long sheet, uh, the long piece of uh, polyurethane foam covered in uh, fabric. You should have that probably up there and move the other piece down, the other piece down, this one up, so you can have the cup holders in the middle. Or you can have it at the foot of the unit. That's all a matter with another bed, whatever you want. These pillows look pretty nice. What do you think of the pillows for you stylish folks out there? Do you like these pillows? Do you like the uh, setup of this unit? Do you like the colors? Do you like the big, gigantic windows? These are big windows. Storage goes all the way to the back. There's no partitions. They do have struts to support them up. Just so they won't bang your head. And again, let me, uh, and there's the air conditioning unit. I wonder how noisy it is. A lot of these air conditioners, uh, you don't, you can't even use at night unless you're a, a very sound sleep sleeper. I'm a very light sleeper, and when I sleep at night, uh, sometimes I can't even have the air conditioner on. I have to just deal with the heat. Cause these, uh, a lot of these uh, air conditioning, let me say it again, air conditioning units in units under five hundred thousand dollars aren't worth anything, to be honest with you. They make a lot of racket. Mucho ruido, as we say in Spanish. And there's another Insignia TV, so you can watch TV to your heart's content while in bed. It's raining outside, There's, and you can just relax, watch some boob tube. Very nice. There's the air conditioner again, and you have a little curtain right there. Over here you have two drawers, and right under it is, of course, the uh, fuse box, the switches, 12 volt and uh, alternating current. Oops. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, it also has an area there where you can look at yourself in the mirror, and then you have storage in here for the uh, legs for the various tables, or you can put some clothes in there too. It's a nice size closet. You can put your outfits for riding the bike, or hiking, fishing, <coughs> whatever you want. You can put it all in there. There's a specific way you can open this. You only can open it from that way, and then let me turn around and. There's some magnets right there that go in that little metal thing, and it goes right there. On the other side, you have another magnet, leaves that side, and it goes to the other side. If you're super tall, six foot eight or something, you gotta watch out for those magnet holders because you can gouge yourself. Of course, most of you out there are not six foot eight, six foot ten. If you were, you'd probably be playing in the NBA or in football or something like that. Good size shower. I like the shower. People always complain about the showers, but that's because you're a big boy or a big girl. You're gigantic. You're you're solid. But I'm a puny little guy, 170 pounds, five foot ten. I fit in there no problem. Toilet. It's a plastic toilet. Of course, you can always replace it with a ceramic toilet. But it does save weight with the plastic toilet. And in case you use it for a couple years, you don't like how it looks, you can always toss it and buy another $200 toilet. Storage under there and this puny, tiny little sink there. Has a shower miser system to save uh, water, heated water, any kind of water. Let me turn around the camera. You can see my ugly mug. There I am. Muy caliente. Muy. Muy, muy, muy caliente. Plenty of room. I'm 5'10". Easy step down, not too uh, big a step. I just put my hand against the wall to the left and I can support myself. As I get older, I'm 71, uh, I'll need all the support I can get. So I'm going to close this up. It's a good size little shower. 
If you're at a resort, you're probably taking a shower with your friends in the, uh, or getting in the sauna, or in the hot tub, or in the swimming pool. Here's another unit I just wanted to show you that with the slide out. And the different cabinets, these are the shiny uh, two-tone cabinets with a little strip of metal looking stuff. So I just wanted to show that to you. Even has pre-positioned a little plastic bottle. And that's where you would put the table if you desire. It's a great spot to watch television in the living room. And of course you get that mirror, etc., etc. It's a perfect little spot to charge your phone, tablet, something small, not too big. Not too big. And again, another shot of the cabinets. What do you think of these cabinets? Do you like these over the other cabinets? Again, very nice cabinetry in this unit. And uh, I like the fact they have all those struts, three of them. Wow. And of course, it's absolutely gorgeous in this unit. I really like this unit. If you're going to off-grid a tiny amount, not too much, not over boulders, you can do some fantastic camping with this unit. You know, down gravel roads, rutted roads, it should be no problem. This is the TW unit. This one with the slide for the bed and uh, the dinette. And it also has this very nice upgraded cabinetry. So you have options. You can get the little you know, essentially a corner bed unit. And this has the very nice bed. I actually laid in the bed and I go, oh, this is pretty nice. I actually enjoyed it. And it has blinds like that unit. There it goes. Very nice. It has a little patty to the back so you don't bang your head. That's always a positive. And of course, four cabinets right there. And there I am. The thermostat said it was 135 while I was inside this unit. I lost a couple pounds. Nice cabinets, a little bit larger uh, sink area. And this is the TE. Let's go inside. So yeah, you're getting a tour of all three of these units. This one's the Murphy bed unit. And of course you can replace that photograph, that painting, whatever, and put your family photo there or of your favorite pet, your favorite child, your favorite ex you know, family or friend member, or just pick, put your own picture up there. That's a perfect spot for us where everybody walks in and goes, wow, amazing. And this has the longest kitchen counter area. And of course, under that uh, area there, that's a little bit higher, is the TV that pops up. Same refrigerator as in all the other units. I feel this unit has the largest restroom area and again the shiny upscale uh, you know, cabinet finish nice sink and uh, plenty of storage there and of course another plastic toilet and of course you can always upgrade that toilet to a ceramic toilet or just deal with the plastic and and if it starts looking bad, you can give it the old heave-ho and then move on and say, hey, it was nice for a while, but then you start discoloring, you start smelling a little funny, and I, I replaced you with a ceramic unit, which is uh, designed not to hold, uh, you know, scents and uh, colors. Again, a uh, AquaView shower miser system. This has a good size shower, Eric especially compared to the first unit we saw. Plenty of room for my five foot 10, 170 pound self here. It's getting super hot, it's 110 outside. I can only estimate According to the thermometer here, it said 130, so it is a bit hot. Let me turn around the camera. It actually read 135. There's some of the controls for the hot water. Leave your friendly comments below. I would greatly, greatly appreciate it. And don't forget to like, 
subscribe and share. Muchos, muchos gracias a todos a ustedes. And ring the bell for future notifications. Hope you enjoyed this video. Thanks for watching. Gracias. Adios. Bye-bye.